So now it's time to learn about Apex environments. Let me tell you what I mean by Apex environments. So in Salesforce, we've got different different environments like uh, production, uh, development, uh, env development environment, testing environment and stuff like that. So, and again, we have got multiple classifications into development org as well. Uh, there are different types of development orgs. There are different types of uh, sandboxes which are available for testing as well as for development. So in, in here, we'll be able to understand that where exactly we can write down Apex and where exactly we cannot write down any Apex. So let's have a look over here. So we can run uh, Apex in a developer org, production org, and a sandbox. So that basically means Apex can be executed or interpreted into all of the orgs, right? Uh, it can be executed in a sandbox, developer org, as well as a production org. Next thing, we cannot develop in our production org because live users are accessing the system. So while we are developing it, it can destabilize our data and corrupt our application. It's a very, very important point that you need to understand. So whenever we are writing down Apex, what happens is, uh, I mean, yeah, whenever we are uh, writing down Apex, there are some mistakes that we can do. There are some problems that can occur. So Salesforce has completely restricted uh, writing down Apex inside a production environment. And why? Because production environment includes uh, live users with live data, uh, both of which is something that we cannot play with. And hence, if you want to write down any Apex class, all what you need to do is you need to create it into the sandbox. And after creating it into the sandbox uh, environment or into the development environment, we need to migrate it into the production environment after testing that. Right? So that's how the uh, basic flow works. So make sure that you uh, know about that, that we can know about this, that we cannot write down Apex in a production environment. We can only write it down in a sandbox or in a development org. Next, instead we do all development work in sandbox or developer edition. This is exactly what I was talking about. So this is something that you need to be aware about and uh, you need to make sure that you never ever even try to do something into the production environment which has got live users and live data. And even if it, it doesn't have that, still try not to do it.